After a year-long WUSA 9 investigation, major changes could be coming to a highway near you. Safety advocates believe these changes will save lives. Investigative reporter Eric Flack and his team exposed how inadequate safety regulations and government inaction have led to thousands of horrific deaths and accidents with tractor trailers. Well, now because of our reporting, inspectors are taking steps to crack down and making sure trucking companies are following laws meant to protect drivers. It's the latest in our WUSA 9 original Big Rigs, Big Risks. It was so unexpected, so traumatic, so unnecessary. It's um, exceedingly painful. It's a heartache. I know what heartache is. Underride accidents are some of the deadliest crashes on our highways. New images come in monthly of the violent impact and devastating consequences. Underride accidents happen when a passenger vehicle slides under a tractor trailer, crushing or even decapitating the people inside. And while there aren't yet laws to put guards on the sides of tractor trailers, big rigs are legally required to have guards on the rear to stop those underride accidents. Research shows those guards can save lives if properly installed and maintained. Along I-95 in Maryland and across the nation, inspectors are supposed to be doing this, checking to make sure those rear guards meet federal standards. Tell me how we decide whether or not this is safe. First and foremost, we're going to be checking basically the height of the rear end protection, checking to make sure that the rear end protection does not exceed 22 inches. Can't which, be too high. That is correct. Because you got to stop the car from going underneath. Yes. But our investigation uncovered many of those rear guards don't measure up and worse, hold up in accidents. And now we've discovered the inspectors responsible for red flagging dangerous rear guards have very little power to fix the problem. I got three of three mounting bolts loose on both sides of the frame to the rear end protection device itself. Listen to this, right now faulty rear guards aren't even on the list of problems inspectors can use to get a tractor trailer off the road and out of service. Well, even if you find a problem with a rear guard, you basically write it up and send that trailer back out onto the road. Yes, sir. At, at this point in time, there is no out of service uh, criteria for the rear end protection. But that may soon change thanks to WUSA 9's Big Rigs, Big Risks investigation. Will these recommendations make it safer on the road? Absolutely. Colin Mooney is the executive director of the Commercial Vehicle Safety Alliance, or CVSA, which helps make the rules on tractor trailer safety inspections. After our year long series exposed major gaps in underwrite accident prevention, Senators Kristen Gillibrand and Marco Rubio introduced the Stop Underrides Act of 2017, which would require stronger safety standards on all tractor trailers. That bill is still working its way through Capitol Hill, but in the meantime, the senators sent this letter to CVSA, asking the agency to put some stopgap measures in place by adding improperly maintained rear guards to the out-of-service list used by roadside inspectors. This is your copy. Thank you, sir. And let me show you those violations. Meaning if an inspector found a problem with the rear guard, like he did with this trailer, the driver would be ordered to immediately fix the rear guard violation or be pulled off the road. Yes, sir. A recent study by CVSA revealed just how many faulty rear guards were slipping through the cracks. One look at one inspector's found and you can see what has them so worried. In just five days, inspectors recorded 3,170 total violations nationwide. That's 35% more rear guard violations than inspectors found in all of 2017. Is there a takeaway from that? Yeah, there is. The takeaway from that is that uh, we do need to do a better job in training our roadside inspectors. As a result, CVSA now recommending major changes, asking the federal government to tighten the rules on rear guard inspections. Effective immediately, the CVSA is increasing training on how to inspect rear guards and adding it to the agency's critical inspection item list, prohibiting inspectors from giving this CVSA approved decal to any vehicle that doesn't meet rear guard requirements. Those decals allow trailers who have passed inspection to roll through these stations without getting looked at again. 
Meanwhile, other proposed changes will require federal approval, including that proposal to add faulty rear guards to the list of things that can result in a tractor trailer being pulled off the road and adding rear guards to the checklist trucks must meet to pass annual inspections. We're both grateful, but like she said, we have mixed feelings because um, so little has been done in the past. For moms like Marianne Carth and Lois Durso, who both had children die in underride accidents, the changes mark important progress in their mission to improve rear guard safety standards for all tractor trailers and finally start keeping tractor trailers with faulty rear guards off the road. You know, I, I ask myself, Ooh. how many people died that didn't have to? The Stop Underrides Act would go even farther than the safety improvements the CBSA is now recommending. Head to the WUSA 9 app and you can read about its chances of passing this year. You'll also find a running list that we are keeping of underwrite accidents across the nation and the lives lost because of them.